Hey everybody, it's Alexis. I have a haul for you guys. I have been doing a little shopping over the last few weeks. Here and there, some things there, some things here, some things everywhere. Hey, my first haul video! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. It's something that I really do love because I keep going back and purchasing these two, well, this one item. Why well, I, I buy two, but I usually only buy one when the other one is still filled and I need more of the other one. Anyways, so yeah. Um, is this Coco Caramel Sea Salt Herbal Tea from Tiavana. This tea smells like some chocolate cognac. Oh, it smells so good. It has coconut, chocolate, herbalness, and yeah, it's really good. I mix this with another tea, the Caramel Almond Amaretti. And I'm obsessed with that stuff. That is going to be a favorite to the death of me. I swear it is. Next thing I purchased is something I have been wanting to replace the old one with. Yeah. Um, it's a blow dryer. It is, well, I seen it on Target's website for $19.99. And I decided to go to Walmart and see if they had it cheaper. And actually it was more expensive. It was $22.99. So I showed them the online on my phone and said, hey, uh, I need that adjustment. So they price matched. And it's this blow dryer here. The Andis, was it Ceramic Ionic Styler? I am kind of obsessed with this style of blow dryer here. Um, I already took it out of the box to show you guys. So it seems like it's lefty approved for some weird reason. I, I just, I feel comfortable holding it in my left hand. I am left handed, obviously. So, yeah, it has three settings, um, low, medium, high, and also a push-cool button. I'm just excited to try this, be able to comb through my hair versus pulling hair out. And, you know, with the long nose dryer, I can't stand those things. Um, so, yeah, it comes with three little, um, what, what, what do you call these? Little, um, what are these? Three attachments. Durr. So, yeah, um, I put this one on because I think this one's probably going to be the one I only use. So, yeah, you just slide it off, and it comes with a wide tooth comb, a fine tooth comb. It comes with this soft bristle one. Um, it's, like, really flimsy. And I probably won't be able to use this in my hair because my hair is like, girl, if you don't get that out of here, you just clip it in, and you blow dry away. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I also picked up some Tresemme um, hair products. This one is the Keratin Smooth um, Heat Protect, and it says control sprays for up to 48 hours. Yeah, I just want to try it. It smells really good. Both of these smell really good. And then this one is the Platinum Strength um, Strengthening Heat Protectant Spray. Um, next, I'll share my Ulta... Um, products. I, I use the Shea Moisture brand and it's the Mano, Manoi and something I can't remember but I it, it's like controls frizz or something. I use that along with the the gold colored one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had lunch. So I use the I think it's the restorative um, sea kelp one. I can't remember. I, I'll have to show you guys. Um, but I really like their brand of products. It's like the only thing that has been really, really working for my hair. I swear. Nothing else, no other products work in my hair like Shea Moisture products. That is all truth. It came out with their new Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. And I have been hunting this stuff down, calling CVS and Walgreens and all the drugstores, Ulta's, looking for it. Because I, I don't, I'm not an online shopper unless it's like Makeup Geek or Sigma Brushes, stuff like that. But I don't like buying products that I can get in a store online. I don't know, I'm weird about it, but I don't. Ulta finally got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line in their store, so I had to jump on that bandwagon. So I picked up three products off of the line, and it's the first one I got is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Treatment Mask. Um, you're supposed to leave this in for five to ten minutes with a, like a plastic cap over your head and then rinse thoroughly. So here's that one. I hope you can see that. The light is really bad. Um, so yeah. I picked that up. I haven't tried it yet, so, but I will let you know. 
The second one I picked up was the leave-in conditioner. And they all have shea butter, peppermint, and actually keratin. So I guess these are my second products that have um, keratin in it. Um, I did use some of this today. Whoa, see, this stuff is like overly watery. It, I, I don't really like overly, see, you can't even see it. It's too, it's too white. But yeah, this thing's making a mess, so enough of that. So this was the third one I picked up from the line, the Styling Lotion. I used this and the leave-in conditioner together in my hair and right now I'm digging it I just don't like the smell so I'll do a full review on that maybe another time but um, moving along and the last thing I picked up from Ulta was a lipstick from Maybelline from their new matte collection and it is in the color lust for blush so here it is it's really looks you know it reminds me of Heather Silk in a lipstick the Heather Silk blush from Wet n Wild I think everybody owns that so here's a swatchy swatchy for you and this color is I love this color it's a mauvey pink rose color and I am in love with this color right now I am I, I just I probably put it on right now right just to see what it looks like so I put it on just to show you guys. It's not giving you the full matte effect because I have gloss on. So yeah. Um. So yeah. There's that color again. Let's see. Can you see? It's really, really pretty. I am digging this color a lot. I might even pick up some more of those lipsticks. Um. So yeah. That's what I got from Ulta. So I have been getting Mac lippies here and there lately. Um. I really like them. I like their new matte collection. Um. I picked up. A few of them out of that line so I'll show you guys what I got so the first thing I picked up was the infamous night moth lip liner I have already used it so don't judge me by the ugliness it's probably the darkest one I have lip color I mean lip liner blip 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 so yeah there's night moth um, everything else I have is lipsticks from the the matte collection so this one is damn glamorous and ooh, it's pretty, pretty. Ooh, ooh. So yeah, um, I love the name. And it is a looks like watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah, exactly it. Watermelon. So this one is Pander Me. Pander Me is a very brown nude. And oh, let me show you first. There's Pander Me brownie peach nude and I like it I think it's gonna look really good on brown skin you know because I feel like a lot of nude colors people feel like they have to be pink uh, like beige beige white to be nude nude is whatever tone your lips are at least that's how I feel um, so this is the perfect nude for my skin tone and deeper so that's pander me I really like this color and again, I think the Maybelline is more matte than these two so far. Crazy. Next one I want to share is, this is Living Legend. Let's not get so close. Living Legend. It, it looks like Night Moth in a lipstick. It's Night Moth in a lipstick. That's exactly what it is. It's about time because that's a good color. Doesn't it look just like um, Night Moth lip liner? It looks just like it. Night Moth is Living Legends Mom. The next one I will share is Fashion Revival. I already wore this too. And you know it's a good lipstick when your grandma says, Oh, mija, let me put that on too. Oh, let me show you. Here's Fashion Revival. It's a, a wine color. That, it's no vamp, just pure wine in this color right here. It's really gorgeous. My grandma was like, Mija, let me see that. Let me let me put that on too. And it looked good on her too. The, here's Fashion Revival. This color is everything right now. So yeah, that's Fashion Revival. I think this is a, a must-have in everyone's collection. So the last one I wanted to share is called Styled in Sepia. I am obsessed with this color. You want to know how obsessed I am? Your girl bought two. My husband was like, do you really need to? I was like, yes, 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 she needs to. So, yeah, that's styled in sepia. Very gray-toned, nude, mauve color. 
I've used Styled in Sepia with Night Moth. I put Night Moth under and then Styled in Sepia over. Oh my gosh, I got so many. What is that? What is that? I mix everything. I never wear just one color. I'm always mixing. I love this color. So a few more products that I did not purchase myself. They were gifted to me from my good friend Joey. Hi Joey. Um, the first thing is a flask. Don't judge me. What does it say? It says, don't chase anything but drinks and dreams. <laughs> so I'm not an alcoholic, but I thought this was super cute. And yeah, it's, I mean, who's, I'm not going to be rolling around with this in my purse, but it's one of those things. And the next thing she got me was a beanie. <laughs> and it says hashtag fancy. <laughs> I think it's super cute. I'm not going to put it on and mess up my hair right now, but I'll take a picture and Instagram so when I do wear it. So follow me on Instagram to see a good picture of this beanie. I will link my Instagram name on somewhere right here, right about now. Next goodies are from every woman's favorite place in the whole world. Victoria's Secret! Victoria's Secret! My mom and my sister were with me, so we did the 5 for 30. I got two, my mom got two, and my sister got one. So, I picked up, I got two lotions. Um, the first one I got is Love Spell. I am out of Love Spell, so I decided to go ahead and pick up another one. And they have a new Love Spell that, like, un, uh, like Love Spell Unleashed or something. But, eh, it, it, I like the, I like the OG, basically. The second one I got is called Such a Flirt. And it's starfruit and white orchid. Orchid? What the hell is that? Starfruit and white orchid. So here's this one. You can see. Okay, there's that one. And I really like lotions. I'm a lotion hoarder. And I mean, I got, I think they had seven underwear for $26. So I picked up. What was it? Can't add. Uh, I picked up 14 pair. I'm not going to show you every single one. My favorite material is this. Um, this material here. It is like a spandexy feel. And I just like it. It doesn't fit. It almost feels like I'm not wearing underwear because it's so, it's just like super soft on my booty. <laughs> so yeah, I usually wear full booty underwear for the simple fact that, um, I don't like stuff in my butt. These ones were cute. These ones are super cute. Full booty. Full booty. These ones, I'll just show you a few of the ones I, I really like. These ones are super cute. I'm going too close right there. And then the back is like a, like that little mesh. Or not mesh. What the hell? Um, yeah, something like that. It's not lace, but yeah. Those, look at those. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Woo -woo. Sometimes I don't like to wear short, you know, full pajamas. I just throw a tank top on. And with the, the, the shorts ones, these are super, super cute. They're just full booty shorts. I mean, they're, they're like shorts. They're not even like underwear when you put them on. And also, um, I really don't like wearing thongs. I, I just, I never have. Um, but when I go to the gym <laughs> and I wear full booty underwear, I get wedgies. It never fails. So I decided, you know what, let's get some thongs because this ain't popping. You know, picking in your butt and it's already, you know, you know, the whole story behind that. You know, if you don't, you know, sweaty booty. <laughs> you don't want to be digging in sweaty booty. Do the same material. It's like that spandex material. And they don't feel, I don't feel like all like, oh my gosh, it's in my butt. Um, so yeah, there's this one, the stripey color one. I got a blue, it's like a violet color, it says pink on it, it's, I, I like this color, this color is really, really cute. Um, black, I'm trying to hurry up and go through this because I know, I'm try, I don't want this video to be super long. Um, I got a black one, it says pink, pink, pink all over, um, got a pink one, just, just super fluorescent pink. Okay, so here's this one, this one's really, really cute. Um, lace Mommy. and spandex Mommy. all in one. Next is like one of my favorite stores in the whole world. Um, and that is Bath and Body Works. Who doesn't love Bath and Body Works? I picked, no, I got four for 20 because, uh, yeah, I didn't want to go over 20. So I got four. I got two pumpkin pecan waffles, the icicles, and the hot toddy. Not hot toddy, the spice. 
apple toddy. <laughs> okay, so I got those four. And I also got um, one free with the deal. And I got um, a leaves $10 candle because they didn't have no, they're sold out of leaves in the big three, the three wick candles. They don't have no more leaves. Also, I got um, another sweet cinnamon pumpkin because my husband loves this hand soap. And that's the one with the little scrubber dubbers in it. Um, everything's still wrapped up. Uh, only because I don't have nowhere to put all these candles right now. So I'll probably still leave them in the bags after this. But um, I got another... Okay. I have a love-hate relationship with sweater weather. In the beginning, I didn't like sweater weather. I just was like, whatever. I didn't like the smell of it in the canister, I think. And now when it burns, it's like second place next to leaves. So I, I'm, I'm a lover now of sweater weather. I got two sweater weather three wick candles. I also picked up two salted caramel corn candles. So I got two of these. So I also picked up green apple orchard. And all of these come with like these really pretty tin tops. I like them. I, I like them a lot. This one, oh. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. It, it smells so good, I don't even want to burn this bad boy. Oh my goodness. I can't describe that. It just, it, it smells good. That's what it smells like. So I got that one. And then I also picked up um, a three wick of the spiced apple toddy. Um, that's, I have that burning right now. And you can smell it all through my house. It's, it's good. And that's only the mason jar. So I'm really happy with those. And also yesterday... They had on Facebook where you liked their post and you got a free item. So I picked, I got my free item. I got the Amber Blush Ultra Shea um, Body Cream. Um, this is a new one for me at least. Here's that lotion, Amber Blush. It smells really good. You should try that out. Okay, what I'm going to share with you now is something that I am cray cray over right now. I really don't feel like taking pictures. Well, I don't have a long mirror to take pictures of this stuff with. Um, and then show you guys. So, um, yeah. You'll just have to follow me on Instagram to see the full effect of it. So, I went to the Goodwill with my grandma, and my grandma's a Goodwill junkie. So, you know, we go in there with her. We're just like, oh, okay, come on, whatever. Me and my sister found some sweaters that are so dope, it is unbelievable that they were in there. Okay. Okay, so the first of the three sweaters that I picked up from the Goodwill are is this it's a, like cocaine white basically the color it doesn't have a tag so I'm guessing somebody yeah it doesn't have a tag in there somebody made this and this is a good buy I really I really like it okay the arms are like really poofy when you put it on but it's so cute this part goes to about right here I'll say and it's, it's, it goes past my butt. I know you probably can't see it all that great, but it is so cute on. Even the bottom has like a, it's like a different design down there. I really think somebody made this because even like right here, let me show you. It's like they tied it off right there. I don't know if you could see that, but like right here, it's a knot right here. It, it's a knot. Somebody, somebody had to have made this. This, I think it's really pretty. I live in California, so it's not like it gets so overly cold. But I'm going to whip that out the first chance I get. Me and my sister, okay. My sister seen it, but she didn't show it to me. And she left it there. And then I walked along, la, 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 la. And I was like, oh, girl, did you see this sweater? And she was like, mm-hmm. So I was like, well, why you didn't pick it up? And she was like, mm, I don't know about that. I picked it up and was like, we're taking this home. Dry cleaners, we're going to wear it. So, here is the sweater. Look at this. Look at this sweater. It's, it goes way past the booty. You can, like, you know, you can leave it long. I want to wear it up here, like, you know, tucked up a little bit. This sweater is everything. Look at this. Look how long it is. It's really long, you know, especially in the fall. You wear this with some, some cute little leggings with some boots. I, I just love this sweater. I can't even stop showing you guys. Isn't this so cute? It's like really 1980s Fresh Prince of Bel-Air style in living color. 
But yeah, that's that one. I am super excited to wear that sweater and so is my sister. The third one is all mine. I'm not sharing this bad boy. I can't. I, I, I don't want to share it. So the third one I got is probably my favorite. It's a little itchy of a material, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to wear this thing and I'm going to wear it somewhere. This one is a zip up sweater. And look at this. I know some of you are probably like, what are you thinking, girl? But when I show you that good Instagram picture, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, that sweater is so cute. So here's the back. And I know it probably looks like, girl, why you? Why would you buy that? But you, when you see it on, girl, who, whoever's watching this, you're going to be like, dang, that is a cute sweater. It even has pockets. Like, full, full pockets. Not no little piece of pocket. Like, a full-blown pocket. And the zipper is good. It's not no cheapy zipper either. So, I'm really excited about this sweater. This is another Fresh Prince of Bel-Air sweater. They probably took these sweaters from, the, from them and was like, we're going to sell those. So, yeah, there's this sweater. Ugh. Definitely going to take those to the dry cleaners first because, uh, yeah, that's no-no. So, my last share of the day. Oh, I'm so sad to end is from everybody's favorite place Sephora woo -hoo, woo -hoo. so yeah I got a few things from there nothing nothing major I wanted a few holiday sets so I was like you know what let me go ahead and grab those because they're gonna be gone so I don't know it's crazy but these holiday sets it's like you have to get them because a single item of you know what I mean for the price of the holiday set, you can get one item that is almost the price of one this whole holiday set. I know that sounds crazy. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick Set. So here's this, and there's nine lipstick shades in here. And um, I'm not going to go through each one of them. I'll probably do a separate video with that. Okay, so the first one came out is Hexagram. And the little, look at this, look at this, let me show you first. You know the big, they're not, they're not big at all. They're pretty, they're travel size. <laughs> We're gonna, we'll call it travel size. Um, they're studded like the big ones. And they're really, really cute. You get enough, look at, you get quite a lot of lipstick in these little studded kiss containers. So here's hexagram. Just your old fashioned red pretty much. Here, right here. I had to wipe some of these other old things off. They were trying to get on my sweater and I couldn't have that. Motorhead. I thought it said mortified. I was like, I don't know if I want to say that. So this one is super dark. This might beat my um, living legend. Let me see how that shows up. You know. Nope. Living legend is darker. It's almost there though. It's pretty dark. And sexer. <laughs> Ooh, said that like nothing, huh? Sexer. <laughs> this color is like a, a pink unicorn. And it has like a, like an iridescent purpley looking, I don't know if you could see it in the, I don't think you could see it, but in light you can see like iridescent purple hues in it. It, it. it probably look like a crazy lady right now, but. So those are just a few of the lipsticks that come in this set. Also picked up the Too Faced Melted Kisses lipstick set. And it's four little baby lipsticks. They're, they're pretty, you know, you, you get a, like, if you look in the light, there's only this much product in there. So, it's like, whatever. It, they were only $25 for the four. So, I already played with this one to show my mom the other day. So, I'll just show you one of them. Okay, so there is Melted Peony. Peony or Peony? Yeah, Peony. There's Melted Peony. And they actually smell pretty good I like the formulation of this stuff too um I wanted to buy I'm happy I didn't because I wanted to buy full sizes of the new that melted berry and I was like you know what no something told me not to buy it so I'm actually happy I didn't because now I have all four well four of you know however many you know a little set and also the price for the Kat Von D studded kisses lipstick set was only $39. So you get nine lipsticks for $39. That, that's, you can't beat that with a stick. 
And then the Too Faced is 25 bucks for the four. The last thing that I purchased, and a lot of people are super going crazy for this, is the Tarte, what is this? The Tarte Sweet Dreams, I don't know if that's even what it's called. I only know it's, it's a blush palette. It's a blush palette with a very ugly packaging. <laughs> it's really ugly. It looks like some 1970s ladies old cigarette pouch. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of. And little ugly bobby pins that I could get from 99 cent store. And this looks like Christmas bow stuff. And it's just not cute, girl. Ugh, mm -mm, they messed up on that. So those are the colors that I have. Well, that, that come in the palette at least. Breathless, embraced, whimsy, and bash, whimsy, bash, bashful, and irreplaceable. So those are the... Oh, you can't see. Okay, so those are the blushes that you get. Um, I like this palette. I haven't, this is actually my first Tarte blush purchase. Oh, let me see. What could I swatch real quick? Um, let's do Embraced. This is a very rose color right here. Um, it's really pretty. I, I, I'm excited to try that. And then I'm going to do Bashful. So, shit, I can't even. <laughs> Here's Bashful. My hand probably looks all retarded, but I, you know what? I hate swatching blushes on my hands. They don't they don't show up the way they show up on cheeks. They they don't. You could oh this is so pretty all you want to, but it does to me it never shows up the same on my skin. You know, they're all paraben and you know all vegan friendly, so they're not gonna break you out, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll have to come back and see how I really feel about those. So yeah, I just wanna tell you guys, in no way, shape, or form Am I boasting or, ooh, ooh, look what I got. I'm not that type of person. Um, a lot of people probably don't even care what I have. I just, this is my first haul video. I'm super excited to share with you guys. I never get to share with anyone because nobody cares about the crap that I buy anyways. You know, and I try to share with my husband. He's like, whatever. I don't care about lipstick. So, I am just super happy that I get, you know, I have a few friends on YouTube that, are interested in the same things that I am and can enjoy a haul video the way I do. But if you have any comments or anything that you want to share with me, let me know in the, in the um, comment box and I most of the time will write back to you. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, and for all my new people watching, please subscribe and like my video and leave me a comment and let me know that you're new, subby. Um, so I can comment and maybe subscribe back to your channel if you have one. So, yeah, I think that's it for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I know I already said that, but yeah, make sure you do. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I love all of you, and yeah, until next time. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound right for some reason. That does not sound right. share with you guys. Oh, God, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> kind of First itchy. thing I'm going to share, I'm saying sharing like we're in second grade. Isn't that cute? The trash man is really killing it right now. I also picked up some Tresemme. Oh my gosh, I can't speak right now. Look. The, um, hold on. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. I won't drink it again! I got two sweater... Oh my gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> I got two sweater... I cannot say that right now. I got two sweater weather... <laughs> Boo.